Welcome to Endorphasmic, where we talk about all things endorphasm. I am your hostess, Erica Porter. I want you to remember that you are taking none of it with you. Not the money, the house, the cars, the things. None of it. And also, promise me this. Don't let your pursuit of achievements come at the cost of creating meaningful moments with loved ones. That doesn't mean I'm not telling you to not reach for the stars, to to aspire to be magnificent, because those are all really important. It's when it's at the cost of filling a void, the things, the achievements, that we lose sight of what matters. Looking back in my life, my most treasured memories are not of material things. They are not of the things that I've accomplished, but more it's been the simple joys of my shared experiences with family, friends. It's the laughter, the shared experiences, the deep connections. That's the shit that really matters. And I think for most people, if they could relive those days, they would dedicate even more time to those moments, knowing that they are the true treasures of life. I have spoken with so many people as they're aging, looking back at their life. And I think, you know, men and women get hung up on, you know, the, how, how they're perceived. I'm not what I think I am, nor what you think I am. I am what I think you think I am. Our self-perception is often shaped by how we believe others see us. Yet it's crucial to understand that people will always form their own version of who we are and we can't control that. Accepting that frees us from the burden of managing those external perceptions and it allows us to find peace. And when we embrace this truth, we can remove our masks, reveal our vulnerabilities and begin to live authentically and wholeheartedly. And I love the saying, if the world was blind, who would you impress? Meaning that the only thing that really matters in in impressing people or to even impress yourself is the impact that we make on other people. Not the shit that we buy, not our house, not, not our bodies even. What is impressive is who we are as individuals, not even the accomplishments that, that we've made. The most impressive part of being a human being is the impression that we make on other people based on how we love them, interact with them, all of that. I I think that the path to inner peace often begins by releasing judgment and allowing ourselves to be fully present. It's in those unguarded, authentic moments that we discover true freedom and the power of liberation. And so... Yes, it's nice to have nice things. Yes, it's it's great to, you know, to to work out and to feel comfortable in our own skin. But ask yourself why? That's the bigger the the bigger question and the bigger driving force. 
which is why I tell people that how you look is so temporary. It's fleeting, right? Those moments, every couple years, our bodies change. And if we're so hyper-focused on what we look like, there's going to be a lot of unhappiness. What I looked like 20 years ago, 10 years ago, even five years ago, and y'all, Cancer treatment did a number on my body. Now, I am super proud of who I am. I'm super proud of what I look like. But more importantly, I am super proud of the human being that I am and the impact that I choose to make. So, let's get on a path to inner peace. Let's release judgment of ourselves, of others. Let's be fully present. Let's live in in moments of being unguarded and authentic. And let's discover true freedom and the power of liberation. Self-liberation. Love, health, and happiness. And always much respect.